Why is everybody mad at Chris Brown this time? And is Dwayne Wade wearing leggings? Plus, find out what a whale dork is. I won't tell you because I'm a lady. <laughs> Magic Queen starts now. Today I am wearing Top Shop. I oh. told you last week I will wear feathers for you, baby. And I love so it. So I went in the bath and pulled some old feathers out. Yeah, honey, you are quite the roof. <laughs> Thank you. Dolce & Gabbana on my eyewear. Oh. Uh, Current Elliott on my jeans and Christian Louboutin on my feet. Oh, a little red okay. bottom never hurt nobody. Never. <laughs> Derek? Uh, well, I'm wearing Ella Tahari. Top and pants, oh, just they head to toe, honey. Well, you know, my, my shoes are Vintage Collection by Nine West. Vintage? That was yes. so cute, too. Is that what it's called? Vintage it's called Vintage Collect Collection by Nine West. Oh, okay. Oh, then you then know, we have Vintage Collection by Nine West. And Bevy sent your breath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I sent my breath. On the they are sitting up like Bevy. Yes, honey. He was tired of me being the only busty one on the pants. I'm exactly. like, you know what? The difference between me and you, though, I don't have on a bra. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. And also the other difference between you and you, <laughs> we know what that is. Uh -oh. You boys are giving me all kinds of life tonight. And when a housewife gives us life, we like to call that giving me wife. <laughs> On tonight's New Jersey Housewives Tell All special, we got a sneak peek of the housewives' new looks. What do we think of Kathy's new hair and nose? Oh. I say kudos. If you're going to get, really get work done, get good work. Mm -hmm. And she's, it's great. No, I don't know what she used to look like. The, the Jersey's cast is not my favorite cast. Oh. But in this picture, is that an oh? I mean, it's not my favorite cast. Is that a read? It's not a read. It's not my favorite cast. But she looks great right now. Yeah. So I don't know what she was before. I think she looks really glamorous. She looks really good. Who knows? And what about Melissa Gorga? <laughs> she is one of my favorites on Jersey. She is so But you know what, though? I think she had something done here. You, th you think she, she looked a little different? She looked a little different. She lightened her hair. Yeah, she definitely lightened her hair. She lightened her hair. Her cheeks look a little her fuller. Her cheeks look a little fuller. Her cheeks look fuller. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe she has a new makeup artist as well. Put it on the makeup artist. We'll put it all on the makeup artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Teresa pulled her hair and her forehead back. Is she giving us a wife? No, no, she this is wife. the best I have ever yeah. seen Teresa look. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, now, I, now, I know about Teresa. Now, I know okay. about the rest of the <laughs> I know about Teresa, though. And this right here, she looks great. She needs to keep the hair off her face at all times. Yeah. Like she should never let her hair down. Yeah. I like the updo on her. It looks really pretty. She looks youthful. She does. She looks youthful. Uh, she's not always looked like that, but she looks really, really good. <laughs> is that a way? I'm not reading. We're reading really early on in the we show. Are. Well, but, but you have on your glasses. That's why you're reading so early. You can see now. Is that a read? <laughs> totally, it is a read. Oh. That's why you couldn't see it. <laughs> well, uh, this give me wife. I want to say a very happy birthday to two of my favorite housewives. Oh. Tonight is Kim Zosiak's birthday. Wow. And, uh, happy birthday, Kim. And Candy's birthday, who was on Friday. Oh, that's awesome. Happy birthday, Candy. Let's say it together, Lauren. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Happy birthday, Candy. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> I love it when you take the high road. Absolutely. <laughs> it was a huge week in fashion news, so let's get right into it. It's time for the week in fashion. <laughs> this week, our Rihanna filed a $5 million lawsuit against Top Shop for selling a t-shirt with her face on it without getting her permission, which you won't do, Top Shop. Okay. Top Shop calls the shirt the eye contact, saying it features a motif of a girl wearing a headscarf. I'm sorry. That's not just any random girl wearing no, a headscarf. It's, not. it's Rihanna. No, it's it's Rihanna. Rihanna. Well, you know, rumor has it that Rihanna's management has been telling them time and time to stop selling the shirt. You know what Top Shop response was? What? We do what we want. Oh. And she's going to get the coins that she wants. I mean, that's right. Now, Top Shop, I want to be in agreement with Rihanna. What you're not going to do is didn't make coins off of her picture, okay? Uh, uh, iconic, iconic, exactly. Iconic woman on tank. Yeah. If, I was a, if I had a few more cocktails, I'd take this feather thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna also got headlines this week for wearing this shirt. Do it yourself, indeed. Wow, yeah. I like it. That, that I like that we have a I raunchy, that I like that we have a raunchy audience this week, yeah. too. That's yeah. exactly do it yourself. Yeah. Right. I love that. Who loves old nasty audience? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I 
absolutely love that T-shirt. You know what? That is the safest sex you could ever have. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah. 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 You do it yourself. You get it right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Who else are you, Rihanna? At this week's BAFTA Awards in England, would you like the Golden Globes look with really bad teeth? <laughs> Why did you make the Harry wore this? What do you think, boy? Um... Well, <laughs> no, wait, I, I don't want. I, mean, I want you to look a little closer. Okay, look a little closer. Well, oh, you see what that is? It's a walking money shot. Oh, the penis with. I love it. A celebration. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, okay, no, I do love it now. At first, I was going to say it looks like a really nice overcoat and like she might have come out of it at some point during the night. But now that it shows its penis with this explosion, I love it. And can we go back to the first picture? Because it's like now she's busting on her face and everything. I mean, this is a great. That's the ultimate pearl necklace. <laughs> that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate. And she's a transvestite, right? Yeah, she is a legendary transvestite. Yeah. I do it's like, like it. the flying nun meets Jenna Jameson. How can you go wrong? <laughs> Moving on. Our French company has made a prototype scented underwear that lasts up to 30 washes and smells like musk and pear. <laughs> this is why I don't like this. Because I don't want this to give any excuse or reason to a man that doesn't like to wash. <laughs> I mean, first of all, I don't want no scratches, no scratches in his panties. Like, you know, I mean, musk in itself is a Robust scent. Yeah, it's and very then very pungent. It's very pungent. And you're going to mix it with pears. And if it's a man that had a long day out, you're going to mix it with musk. So it's just like, that's not cute. Yeah, I can teach you to use just some dial soap or even dog. And, you know, just keep it nice and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Sir Richard Branson set a bet this week by dressing as a stewardess and serving drinks on a six hour flight. What do we say? Uh... I think it's funny, and um, it shows that he has a huge, huge, huge sense of humor, but I hear him. <laughs> here he looks like uh, the author from The Golden Girl. <laughs> I like Richard Branson a lot. I do, too. He's a billionaire. I mean, well, oh, I should have been on that plane. Then, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Snooki announced a new line of Snooki Couture sunglasses this week, and they're for babies. Do we like? Oh. Um, you can't say anything bad about anything that are for babies. Oh, uh, no, you can't. It's nothing that comes from Snooki. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I mean, I actually like the sunglasses because they're super cute. I like them. They're it's so like cute. Shady baby. Right. This is what you would have, Lauren. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my baby's mother would be a queen. I would teach my daughter or my son how to be a queen and how to be shady. <laughs> also making headlines this week is a new distressed High top sneaker that Barney's is selling for almost two thousand dollars. Made by hand in Rome, the shoes feature a dye stained rubber sole and pre rustic metal eyelets. You wanna know what else is distressed? Me! <laughs> this is horrible. What does this look about? That's a man's set of shoe, and I absolutely have nothing to do with men's shoes, so I don't have any comments. <laughs> I have plenty of shoes I can sell for. I'll give you a better deal. I'll give you like about 1500 You know, <laughs> that, that bill boy. A steal. Right, it's a steal. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is still pregnant. They're still trying to be fashionable. <laughs> and this week she stepped out in the. And honestly, guys, no joke. I'm very, very, very concerned. This is not a joke. I'm, I'm concerned. I mean, this needs to stop. This is painful. It is painful. I mean, guys, she is pregnant, and uh, most pregnant women retain a lot of water. Yes, baby, but then. And guess what else? Okay. Most pregnant women have a lot of self-esteem issues while they're pregnant. They don't feel sexy, so she still wants to squeeze into her shoes. <laughs> that looks like they had to cut those shoes off her feet. <laughs> like, it, it looks really painful. I actually, I have a pair of shoes like that that I refuse to wear because my foot is fat. So my foot looks like that in the shoe. So I, I won't even wear the shoe because... But you're not pregnant. No, you know. I don't. I mean, okay. No, no, you ass. You just, you made a statement. You do like you might have some milk in them breasts. I, I am black <laughs> chicken. Coming up, put on your reading glasses. It's time for the reading room. And why not we get Madison Hines on the this week's Dag Award. We're back on the reading This is the reading room. Yeah. We are 
reading for Phil tonight. Who would like to go first? I would take the first reading. Yeah, I bet you will. And I am reading Chris Brown for mm -hmm. announcing that his new single will feature the vocals from Aaliyah. First of all, Aaliyah ain't got no choice. How you know Aaliyah want to sing a song with Chris Brown? <laughs> She can't take no. I understand that, but that's talking about the money part of it. My thing is this: Aaliyah was an upstanding young lady when she, you know, when she was around. So, you know, Chris Brown has a lot of flat going on behind him. So I don't know if she wanted to be a part of that. Why not just do a tribute concert or something to Aaliyah, but just rather than oh. rip her vocals off and put it on your song? I do think that's a bit disrespectful. That's a big it's like people do the duets. Um, no, that's just like a new artist. No, that's just like a new artist coming out. And putting Michael Jackson vocals on one of their songs. Akon did a song with Michael Jackson after he passed away. Akon is legendary. Yes, because he's from Atlanta. No, Akon really is legendary though. Okay. Yeah. You guys would know better than I. You know what, child? Lawrence, who are you reading, honey? I. Okay. Now listen. Hold on to your seats, people. I am reading Beyonce this week. What's the problem? I don't like it. Listen. Rumors are swirling. And it may even be confirmed that she is, in fact, pregnant with her second child. Yeah. Well, here's why I'm reading, because it's so bittersweet. I'm very happy for Beyonce. You know, I love people that conceive and all that stuff. And now I'm concerned that she may be canceling a lot of her show dates because of her pregnancy. Beyonce, I'm so happy for you and Jay-Z and your family and Blue Ivy for having a sibling. But if you cancel Atlanta, New York, our assets, I'm putting you back in the reading room when I come back, girl. Well, she already started canceling because she canceled that one over in, um, Czechoslovakia. In, 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 um, in, in um, Brussels, I <laughs> think. So, yeah, she canceled her Brussels. So I don't care about what she do overseas. I don't live over there. I don't care that. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with me. I mean, here's the thing, Beyonce. Why wouldn't you have unprotected sex when you know you have a tour coming up, B? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, no, no, seriously. You can have all the love without a glove. <laughs> no, no, no. Beyonce, if you make it to Atlanta, I'm going to buy a ticket for that show because you stuck it out during your pregnancy. Yeah. Cool, though. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the right idea. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to read the teen mom slash porn star, Farrah Abraham. First of all, she hired a porn star to make a video with her. That's forgery. Yeah. Then she pretended it was a leaked sex tape when it clearly was not. Uh -huh. But what really got me this week was the bathing suit from the porno was up for sale on eBay of all places. Uh -huh. Now, I wouldn't mind the costume from the great Gatsby, but who wants to use the bathing suit from a film called Backdoor Team Mom? Well, that just sounds all kinds of filthy and like all kinds of like, you know, personal <laughs> which means you know. No, it does, but when I think, I mean, I know what you might feel about it, but relevant that current bid, the current bid is at $12,700 at the time that this got put, picked up. They ain't the only ones that want some little cooch juice in their um, baby suit. <laughs> Well, oh, that is so gross. That is gross. That, that, right. They're just a bunch of freaks. Because I was trying to get Dara J a little early Christmas gift, I decided I was going to bid on that swimsuit for you. <laughs> <laughs> down. I appreciate being yeah, your I thought, think probably. you could have worn that. Oh, I would have. With that juice and all. Maybe it was yours. I would have to uh, put one of those uh, panty protectors underneath there, but I would have been a liner. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, this is one of my favorite segments. We have done this many times. This is Lawrence's favorite segment. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because no one likes a bad surprise after putting in the work, honey. But wait a minute, what about what about that whole um thing about it's not the size of the ship, it's the motion of the ocean? That's for people that are delusional. <laughs> There's two types of people in the world, size queens and liars. <laughs> <laughs> also, a menswear line from Iceland has created a wallet made from whale dork. Dork is another word for penis. Oh. oh. Now that's what I call a woody. <laughs> Piece of wood. <laughs> so if you got $2,500 to buy an old piece of wood, there you go. Honey, if I had $2,500 and if I was the type of person that would buy wood, it would not be an old piece, okay? <laughs> The party. The many stars walk the red carpet this week. Let's get through as many as we can. The speed round we call Right or Ratchet. <laughs> Ashley Simpson and Alice and Olivia, Right or Ratchet? Right. Oh, that's right, honey. That's right. That girl is fabulous. Octavia Smith Award is a blue drop waist dress and can. <laughs> it is a little ratchet, but I'm going to say it's right. You know why? Because she always looks so sad. I don't want to make her even sad. I liked her in it. I think it was right. Okay. This is Gigi from Shaw the Sunset, right or ratchet? That's ratchet. This is ratchet. Julianne Moore and Dior, right or ratchet? Um. Now this is ratchet. No, this is <laughs> <laughs> and I like Julianne Moore. She's I mean, gorgeous. yeah, this is this is ratchet. I mean, the, the the this dress is just a horrible horrible dress. For me, it's not even about the dress. We know that that's ratchet, but it's the shoes and that pinky toes sitting <laughs> sticking outside of the shoe. Oh. That's right. This is very ratchet. Yeah. What she won't do is catch me with my pinky toe hanging outside of my shoe. I'm like, toes <laughs> hanging over my shoe. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when toes hang over a shoe. Mm -hmm. That means you need to let them go. <laughs> and this is Eve at her fan event, right or ratchet? Right. Before we even go right or ratchet, right. she was at a what? fan event? Yeah. Was people there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they came out to see her and support her. What makes you think she doesn't still have No, first of all, let me tell really you what I'm No, I'm not reading. My thing okay. is this. For you to have a fan event, that means you had something going on at this the moment. This has a new album coming out. Yeah. Oh, she does? Yeah. And not only that, but Eve, nobody forgot about Eve. Wow. So she still has fans. Did you know she had a new album coming out? I didn't say I was a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so did you like the dress? Ratchet. Oh. <laughs> okay. But it was a little ratchet because it is dated. I don't think anybody's doing no keyhole shoulders anymore. So, oh, the question, so did you ask the question right or ratchet? I did. I said ratchet because I don't think it's No, no, no. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll cut you off. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, how about my sweet treat, Chef Roble? Oh, right or ratchet? Oh, he's right because he's your sweet treat. He is my sweet treat. Yeah. No, Chef Robo is right. And he's really, really yeah. nice. Yeah, I like he is. Him. He's, he's like a nice and tall and square. Mm -hmm. I thought you he was on that website that we talked about. So, Chef Robo, Pal Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know the viewing public wants to know are you on that website? Are you seven inches or more, Robo? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hopefully I did not ask them. Coming up, it's time to hand out this week's gag award. Don't go anywhere in the back of the room. I'll be right back. <laughs> And now the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to honor someone with this week's GAN Award. I'm actually going to go first because my nomination for this week's GAN Award is a scintillating salon. The kids are raving about salons that spread in this month's Complex magazine. She has her own really unique, amazing style, and I love that she goes her own way and always has. She is not in her sister's shadow. She is her own woman. Samaj looks fabulous. She does. She looks great. I love her. Solo. Go solo. <laughs> well, my gag nomination is Christina Aguilera for her slim down and super sexy. Oh, 
I think you look amazing. While shooting a new video, she posted this picture to Twitter, and it's totally gang worthy. Well, you know, I like about Christina is that Christina represents for that curvy girl. Like she never tried to be too small. You know, she she had breaks. She started out when she was super super skinny. She was, but then now she was a teen. She was a teenager. Super skinny and she started getting them coins, honey. And she started really putting some food on that platter. Yeah. 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 Right. We're standing for you, Christina. And I want to nominate Prince Harry because oh. I long to be his queen. Oh yeah. Single yeah. one, honey. Yeah, he is a single one, honey. Yeah. Prince Harry visited New York this week and he did it right. He played baseball in Harlem. Yes. You like the way that ball is placed strategically? There? I like how it's just right there strategically in the middle. Yeah. Batters up, honey. He has a charity polo match, which raised money for African children. Oh, awesome. That, that's a sexy, that's a sexy man. He really, Prince Harry looks fine as hell. Don't yeah. Prince Harry look like he might just over his mouth? You are like, hi, Prince Harry. He, he looks like he just might be like, what up? Yeah, he would. That's not right. That's right. Swag off, right? Yeah. Like, what up? Yeah. What up? Well, Solange, Christina, and Prince Harry are all great nominations, but we asked you to weigh in via Twitter, and the people are smoking. Congratulations, Solange. You won this new chat award. Remember, your opinion matters to the fashion queen, so check out our Twitter feed next Thursday to see who's been nominated, and you'll have until noon on Friday to tell us whom you think should win using the hashtag gag awards. And then tune in Sunday for our summer special. St. Fabulous Time, St. Fabulous Channel. Good night. Love you.